In this video, I'm going to be going through how to use React Context with the Use Context hook. I'll also be going over a real world example where we can access the current signed in user from anywhere in our application. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and remember you can always view the source code on GitHub via the link in the description. React Context provides a way to share values between components without having to explicitly pass a prop through every level of the component tree. This avoids a problem known as prop drilling. Essentially, React Context allows you to store some value within a parent component and every child inside that parent component can access that value. To better understand why we might use React Context, let's look at an example of what life is like without the React Context API. Let's say we have some logic to get the current user in our parent component called page. We also have a link component that we'd like to access the user's information in, but there's a catch. The link component lives within the navbar component and the navbar component lives within the page layout component. And we wanna access the user from the page within the link component. But in order for the link to access the user, we'll have to pass it down the hierarchy as props like so. This is not only annoying to implement, but the page layout and the navbar components might not even need to access the user. They only need to pass it down so that the link component can access it. Let's see how React Context could help in this situation. To create a new context, we'll use the create context function and pass in a null or an undefined value to represent that the user hasn't been defined as the default value. Then we can use that context provider and pass in the user value into the value prop of that provider. Previously, before React hooks, you would have to use a context consumer to be able to read the value stored in the context provider. But since we're living in the future, we can use the use context hook, which makes it much simpler. The use context hook accepts the context object itself as an argument and returns the current value of the value prop within that context. We can export and use this hook in any one of our functional components that live underneath that context. Calling the hook returns the actual value of the value prop from the context, and we can simply store that in any variable of our choosing. Whenever the context provider value updates, the use context hook is gonna trigger a re-render with the latest context value that it has to all of the subscribers of the context. Let's take a look at a real world example using AWS Amplify's Amazon Cognito to pass down the user to all of our components using the React Context API. We'll need to import React, Use State, Use Effect, Create Context, and Use Context from React. We'll create a new context with the create context function and pass it an empty object as the default value. We'll create another function called auth context which accepts all of its children as props. Since we want to update all of our components if the user signs in or out, we'll store the user in a state variable and set it up with a null value by default. We'll create a use effect to define a listener for any authorization events such as signing in, signing out, or signing up to trigger a check user function. The check user function tries to get the current authenticated user and set that user as the state variable we defined earlier. If it can't find the current authenticated user, that means they're either signed out or an error has occurred and we'll just set the user to be null. Then we'll return all the children passed in as props wrapped around the user context.provider, exposing two values within an object in the value prop. The first value that we're exposing is user, which is the actual value of the current user or null if there isn't a current signed in user. The second value that we're using is the set user function. And this is the actual function to update the value of the user in this state and what this is gonna do is allow us to set the current user from anywhere in our application if it lives within this provider. So for example, if the user signed out, we could trigger the sign out function and say set user to null, which will update all of our components to say the user is null and trigger a re-render for any component that needs to update. In this example, I'm using Next.js's custom app which wraps all of my pages in the auth context so that any one of my pages can access that user and set user value. Then inside one of my components, I can destructure both of these values out of the use user hook, and we can access the user and all of its attributes as if it was any other variable. React context and the use context hook are a very powerful way to manage pieces of data that might change and also need to be accessed within different components within your application. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button as it does help out my channel a lot. And if you wanna see more content like this in the near future, consider subscribing to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.